This is Roberto Reed here with MMA Plus, here with your winner, Colin Freak Show Fletcher. First off, Colin, congratulations. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, yeah, enjoyed that. Um, how do you, um, how did you, what's your take on the fight? It was a bit of a scrap. Kind of give us a breakdown of how you thought it went. Yeah, I mean, like I've, I mentioned before, I, I can't be my own worst enemy, you know what I mean? I, my coaches are always trying to get us to play it safe and, and utilise my strengths, you know what I mean? I just, uh, for the life of us, uh, it must be in the breeding, you know what I mean? I can't help myself, I love a good scrap. Because when we interviewed you, you was honest enough to admit that, you know, you're not one of those guys who doesn't have any fears going to a fight. You, I think you've got a healthy fear of your opponent. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. in the beginning of that fight when you two were trading, yeah. did memories of your last fight against Mansoor come into your head? You know, yeah, you got yeah. tagged early on, sorry? N not really, but, but going into the fight, I had um, kind of... I didn't want to get caught up in that silly... It, it's too fun. To, it's too much fun to get caught, brought, caught into a fight like you used to have when you were a kid, you know what I mean? You, we, we all we all had them at school where you're kind of just fighting each other to the death, you know what I mean? And that's what me and Mansoor did, you know what I mean? We stood toe to toe and just swung our hands about, you know what I mean? So with that in my mind, I did. I was trying to be more elusive, you know what I mean? I knew Tony had a very, like a kind of karate style and he, and he did, you know what I mean? Which kind of kept me at my range and I was trying to pick my shots. And uh, I think I did reasonably well and that was, in my head a little bit, you know what I mean? There were times when I thought maybe the best thing for me to do would be to take this guy down and look to submit him or look to put some elbows into him, but like I said, I was having too much fun. He seemed a very durable opponent. Yeah, um, did, you know, sometimes you seem to be staggering him, but he seemed to come yeah. back very well. Yeah. Did that, you know, ever dishearten you during the yeah, course I mean, of the fight? I landed body shots on him and I seen him wince, you know what I mean? I, I rocked him a few times, he rocked me back, you know what I mean? He cut me head, which I kind of was a little bit disappointed in because sometimes cuts and things can make a big factor in judges scoring, but I'm, I'm just happy um, that it went my way on the night, you know what I mean? And I enjoyed the fight. And, and you kind of talked about, you know, your coach and um, some of your team talking yeah. about you playing it safe. You know, you're well known for your ground game. You yeah. know, we haven't really seen it in a while. Yeah. Was there any ever thoughts of taking it down and trying to get the sub? Yeah, always. I mean, I hit him with a solid knee and um, instinctively my next move was to fake the knee and shoot for a takedown. But um, for the life of us, me, me brain just wanted to continue fighting. So yeah. uh, what can I say? <laughs> I tend to get more of my submissions when somebody tries to take me down. You know, um, you know, you had a free rounder today. Um, you know, there's rumours of Obama coming up in the next month or so. Yeah, I think um, what, yeah what, what, what would you like to do? Um, like I say, I, I hadn't heard that rumour, you know what I mean? But I think a month may be a bit close, but on the other hand, it, it might not. So we'll just see what I'm offered and see what's happening. And really, in, in terms of Mansour, yeah. you know, how much closer do you think you are to a rematch with him? Um, I mean, I, I was kind of told if I won one, I would get a rematch, you know what I mean? But I'm not the kind of person who's going to kind of be adamant that I want a rematch. I think it can come across as quite rude, you know what I mean? I've got the utmost respect for the man, which is why I'd like to fight him again. But um, I'll just see what I'm offered and see what's on the table, you know what I mean? I'm enjoying fighting at the moment, so whoever, whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look and we'll decide. Because we've got the freak show, old freak show back there. Everyone I'm having loves, fun. You know? I'm having fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Juan, is there anyone you like to thank? Everybody, you know what I mean? The guys who have supported us for for seven years plus, you know what I mean? And they're still with us today. They're still back us. But um, the fans as well, you know what I mean? People, I always get a fantastic response for what I do. Um, there was a point in time where I kind of felt like um, I was being silly and kind of kind of it was pointed out to us you know what I mean and that kind of has tailed off so I'm happy again I'm I'm having fun with my life and it's good to be me <laughs> brilliant well congratulations Colin you, well done the Shabbat Rude here with thank Colin Flotcher well done thank you